Good morning, Sebastian Lacido, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. And we're going to read from Numbers chapter 12 today, and it's uh, uh, verse 1. It says, Then Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. So when you understand, uh, everybody in this, Miriam, Aaron, and Moses, are all part of a covenant. They're part of a covenant with God. Because Moses made a decision to marry a black woman, essentially a woman from Ethiopia, a black woman, uh, he, they spoke against him. They came, and it, it literally says, Miriam, uh, Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because he married this woman. You know, and so they said, has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now you have to understand, everything in Miriam and Moses' life you know, Miriam and Aaron's life is because of Moses. Moses is the one connected with God. When you study it out, uh, he had a speaking impediment in his own eyes. And so Aaron was brought into the process. And the Bible says the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very humble, more than all the men who are on the face of the earth. God is saying that Moses was walking in the fruit of the Spirit. Suddenly the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tabernacle of the meeting. So the three came out, then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud, stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both went out and set forward. He said, Hear now my words. If there's a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in my house. I speak with him face to face and plainly, not in dark sayings. He sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And so you have to understand, God is giving Moses the revelation. Moses is giving everyone else the revelation. So he had this unique relationship with God. And so he comes down and he says, what do you, who, do you, who do you guys think you are? Let me put it in modern East Side Italian vernacular. Who do you guys think you are? Who do you think you are speaking against him? You know, who, where, really, where are you coming from? It says, so the anger of the Lord was aroused against them, and he departed. When the cloud departed from the tabernacle, suddenly Miriam became leopardess, white as snow. Then Aaron turned toward Miriam, and there she was a leopard. So Aaron said to Moses, O my Lord, please do not lay this sin upon us, which we have done foolishly. And Moses goes on to pray for him. I need to get to the the points here. But Revelation number one is the color of skin. And we don't see the color of skin. I mean, we, we believe that everyone came from Adam and Eve. So, uh, you know, we're all related if you go back far enough. So there is no black, white, red, yellow. We are all one. Christians do not see. They walk in love and they do not see skin color. Number two, Moses' fruit of the spirit, walking in humbleness, triggered God to defend him. Moses didn't ask for this. God took a burn to it. Moses allowed him to because of his walk. Number three, God judged them, and what did he do? They said, you married a black woman. God said, do you really want to be white, Miriam? Do you want to be white? So he made her white as snow. Judge not, lest you be judged. With the same measure of judgment, you'll be judged again. So she became white as snow. And then the the next thing is, uh, it humbled the accusers, Aaron and Miriam, to come to Moses and pray for deliverance. God ends up delivering because of Moses' prayer, uh, but that she had to wait seven days. And so what we learn here is the reality of our actions. You know, we can't just, uh, you know, speak down at somebody. We can't look down at anybody. We just walk the walk and we allow God to be God. You know, those that rise up against us will be put down, just like Miriam if they don't repent, and Aaron. We just live the life, and then we go from there. The other big thing is this whole critical race theory thing that has gotten uh, all, of, all of us divided. You know, not us who believe in Jesus Christ, but those that, that see color are dividing. And but by putting black above white, or white above black, or yellow above red, or whatever you may do, We are not in God's will. We are all equal, and love esteems others better than themselves. And so we don't don't see color. 
Anyway, that's our broadcast for today. Please go to our website, washersofthetruth.com. Join us in one way or another. Either share the message, become a partner, or use our materials. Just use us, right? Join us. God bless.